Hello everyone, Grandmaster Varakov is here and my student Jonathan Macting and we're going to take a look at the games from round number 7 of the St. Louis IM Norm Tournament and this is a game between very strong top GM Ilya Nizhnik against WGM Tohashanova. Let's take a look at this. D4 by Nizhnik. It's very unusual to see such a high ranked player to play in a Norm event. But, uh, you know, we, we had this you know, very Obscure circumstance. experience with Ilya. <laughs> so... G6. I, it's a great opportunity, though, to see the scale of the two players. You don't get to see this very often. Yeah, so no. I think that that's something that um, that we should appreciate, like because it's something we don't get to measure very often. Absolutely, yeah. You don't have uh, this kind of high-ranked GMs you should play. Now, C4 comes in. Now, attacking the center, and this is the Fianchetto lines, and now he plays Queen A4. Check. He wants to get the pawn back, which he does. Sure. Bishop G7. Knight F3. Castles. Castles. Bishop e6, hitting the queen. Ooh. And, okay, these lines are not easy to play because it's it's like a tempo game. Loss, yeah. And whose pieces are better developed. And, you know, uh, usually white maybe gets something a little bit, but it's just very tiny, you know. So he plays queen b4. And now queen b6, immediately played by Tukherjanova. Now Whoa. queen takes e7, sacrificing the pawn. He's trying to trap the queen. Well, block, is, block is playing confidently. Looks like knowing what's going on here. Yeah, queen a3 comes back. They're going to try to clean up the e2 pawn. Or, oh, put yeah, pressure. Yeah. f8, and now putting some pressure. Queen a4. And now c5. I like this play. I really yeah. like how Tuka Janova is playing here. She's got the pieces developed, and she's breaking the center. It's how very many Grunfeld. pieces block has developed here? Jonathan. Um, all but the rook in the corner on A, and so they, and then there's no queen species developed for white. So this is a huge. We have but, six pieces developed. But I do love the pawn how structure. How many pieces white has developed? Only four. However, I do like the pawn structure potential for white. So I see what Niznik is trying to say with this exchange of value. Um, I, I, I see the point that he's that, that is being yeah. made here. Yeah. Uh, well, I think uh, he took. He he he's he's hoping that you know he will be able to just, uh, you know. Fend develop. off this and then get the pieces yeah. out and then slowly convert. Sure. Perhaps in this position he should have played the move queen h4. Perhaps. That would have been good. But okay, he went here. Bishop f8. Now queen c3. I'm not Ooh, sure what's going on here. That's a lot I, of queen moves. This is kind of puzzling. How many moves? That's like five queen moves. Queen played? It's just, five, it's just too many. You know? Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> so... I mean, the best the best is b4 and then bishop b3. I like your queen h4 idea. I think that could transfer yeah. to the king's this, side. This and queen is a, a problem. It's just constantly getting hit. Knight g4 and knight c3 developing. I like black here. I think black's have done really good good, good work. Bishop b4, Potokhezanova. Bishop f4. Rook a8. I mean, look at this. It yeah. looks like a complete development for black. And for the white, what is the queen doing only one? Hiding so behind the knight. Oh, Questioning gosh. it. Okay. Oh, it makes a two. Okay. Huh. So black is doing very well here. And she has to just play queen a6 here. Sure. here and then the pressure on e2. I think uh, there is a difference between... Uh, queen b5, and uh, you will see now. Here, <sighs> yeah, I mean, there's another look, two, at the the look at the difference. It gets an extra tempo, but if the queen is parked on a6, then you can just simply take, and there is no rook a b1 tempos. Okay, wow, what a and so now the whole tempo gambit that was played by our GM friend ah. now makes complete sense because <laughs> they knew they'd get it back. Absolutely, yeah. Now, still, black is doing very well here, but I think. Now I think... Uh, There's an edge now. There's a grip. Yeah, it's a little bit easier. Now, knight takes g5. Oh, interesting gambit with the rook. Yeah. Of, uh, yeah. Um, I, mean, it's, I see it. It's just like a mating threat. So. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, white piece is already out. When I saw this, I thought, okay, most likely Ilya is going to win now because... He was in serious danger earlier. Yeah. And when a grandmaster makes like a sketchy yeah. almost play, they usually tighten up and never make a yeah. mistake again. You could take also b7 here, which is quite good too, but okay, you went here. Would you play the two rooks against the queen in that line? Rook over yeah. king takes, yeah. Now 
But here, actually, very surprising. There is a very strong bishop h3 move. I don't know if both players missed it. Bishop h3 just simply wins the, the rook. And oh, it's a natural, yeah, is subtle move. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's, very strong here. Yeah, it's just winning. Uh, yeah. And if rook d3, you just take on e2. There's no discovery checks. Was there like a fear of a tactical idea? Is there like a ghost inside of the the bishop h3 line? Well, yeah, so? when the knight is on e2, your king is on h5, and a file, h5 file is open, you're always worried, you know? Yeah. Uh, that's why I wanted to play safe. And now we got to this position, which is, uh, you know, slightly better, but knight d4, and it's it's a big fight. But when here, and... Nice. And we like bishops. <laughs> yeah. So. And now I'll just pick up wow. all the Wow, yeah. Master Nizhnik converted this position. Uh, tough game, tough game for Tokar Janava. She definitely had her chances, but it was very, very difficult against Nizhnik. He's just so good at these complications. And uh, I think at somewhere around here, things started to to go wrong here. Maybe just rook e8, just put the rook on a safe square. Again, f6 is a mistake. Remember, never play f6, guys. Never play f6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, you're right. That is the rule. Oh, barely Absolutely. play F3 and never play F6. That's Absolutely. Rule. Hope you guys enjoy this game, and we'll be back with more videos for you. This was a very interesting and complicated struggle, Jonathan. Yeah, it was awesome.